Hey team, Curtis here with another quick tip video for you in Primavera. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about a cool feature called the Schedule Health Check. It is a button up here underneath your login name. It's this little box right here that's got this EKG symbol in it. Um, when you're in a project like this one, I'm in the standard TI template project with some links that are active in here. If you click on this button here, it'll bring up this side menu. And on the side menu, it'll give you a whole bunch of uh, relationships and other items that are in your schedule currently and give you kind of a generic score here. Uh, don't worry so much about the score. Uh, there's some more details that kind of control what the score actually means. But the coolest feature that I think for the schedule health check is to identify and find items in your schedule that you may have trouble finding, especially if you have a larger schedule with many items. Uh, the big one being constraints. If you have a schedule that's acting weird and you're trying to run it and um, stuff is not moving where you want it to do, um, it might be because you have constraints applied that you don't know about. If you open that up, it'll display here. Um, these darker gray boxes will be um, indicated for items on the list that do have um, items underneath there. So like on this one, for example, soft constraints, I have one. If I'm not sure what that is, it can be hard to find it in your schedule just by manually going through. But if you click on here, it'll bring you to a hyperlink, which will bring you right to that item um, on your timeline. So you can search around um, this method versus this method way quicker. So if you have multiple constraints, it would list all the constraints here. If you click on the hyperlink, it'll bring you to the item. And then down here, you'll notice that this one has a constraint applied to it. If I turn that constraint off, this list will refresh and that item will be gone. Um, if you click on any of these other ones like finish to start predecessors, I have 31 of them in this schedule. In here, it'll list every single one of those items. Again, with a hyperlink, you can click on it and it'll bring you right to that item if you're trying to find something on a larger schedule. So give that a try. Um, like I said, I use that mainly for trying to find pesky items that are maybe hard to locate um, manually in the Gantt view. Uh, give it a try see if it helps you guys out. Um, there is some settings that you can change um, under here. Uh, right now it is just defaulted to the generic setup, which is giving you this score. Um, if you do want to take the time to go in and play with it a little bit, you can adjust your target ratios here. Um, again, this is just kind of a basic setup that Primavera came with. If you want to dig into this, by all means, you can give it a try. Um, like I said, the majority of the time I do not pay attention to this number. I just focus on these. So give it a shot. See what you think. Thanks, guys.